yes welcome back to another video um if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the like button it helps the channel but here we have a minimum of um, 1.6 mil for the um uh, for the tread depth in germany and places in some places in europe they have a i think it's a a four mil or a, or a six mil i think it's a four mil or something like that um minimum tread depth and they have to change their tires each season so from winter to, to spring type thing so they can't have winter tires on a spring of it evidently whereas we have all year round tires um so i went oh okay can i have those please they went okay here you go this is a few months ago i thought nothing of it i thought eh, part one why why not just get something it's only like we have a brand new tire has eight mil that had i think it had six mil on it or something like that or five mil on it and so that means you have still got about another three to four mil of driving on these on these tires um then yesterday my car went in for its annual mlt because if you're not from the uk every after a car is three years old from new it has to have an mlt every year to check the brakes the tires the windscreen wipers the lights the emissions everything whereas in america it's just a smog test which is basically the emissions out of the exhaust to get a test we have to check and make sure everything's adequate for the road um so i took it for an mlt and it failed its mlt and i said to them well how does it feel to mlt they went tires i'm like i've only bought them tires two two or so months ago they went well apparently part one and they have a crack in them that's, that's deep enough to possibly um bear the um the um not the tread what's it called the um the th thread bear basically it's deep enough to, to uncover a thread bear which could cause any time or whenever could cause a blowout on the motorway and my wife's car actually blew out on the motorway and i had to go and get it off her and then change the tire over to a brand new one which is a pain in the ass as you can imagine hopefully she was next to a um a turn off point so she could pull into a hard shoulder and down there and get um say you've got a tire and change it in the same place this part one and a pattern so i got her a brand new one because that was kind of scary enough and then i find out that my part one tires are mlt failures as well so i have the fail tires in my back in, my, in the back seat and the boot um and i'm not happy i'm going there now to effectively get them to give me, give me a refund because they've effectively sold me dodgy tires um and it's not even just not giving them shit because they need to know that the, the, the supplier that they're actually using aren't supplying um decent tires for their consumers so it's not just i want a refund i'm giving them a warning in a nice way to say don't use your supplier or make sure your supplier checks their tires because these tires that you sold me are aren't um, maintained and they're not safe for the road um, so hopefully I, I'll get the money back for them because I'm not happy because basically what happens if mine blew out and I've got two of them and they both blew out then I'm fucked basically aren't I so we'll get there um, I'm not going to say what the place is called because that's not fair on them um, but I'm going to go there and I'm going to tell them and see what they say I've got the, um, the failed MLT thing that says it is that, that says that the tyres are no good and we will see what they have to say and I'll tell you the outcome of this as well safety is important and at least if it's brand new you know it's never been touched never been on a car before you don't know how they how when these car when these tires were on the other car how they treated the car did they bump up curves did they leave it the the seal isn't fresh because it's they've had to break the seal when they took the tire off not brand new so it's kind of like how you don't know how it was treated at all 50 quid per, for your back and 100 quid for basically additional isn't it worth isn't that worth it for um to make sure that your car is safe and efficient and you're not going to die a few moments later um i took the failed mot certificate before obviously i've got an actual pass one now but i should show them they could read what was wrong with the tires 
I asked for the manager because there's no point dealing with the workers, they ain't got any, any power. Um, I mentioned that my wife had a, um, a blowout on her, but that I got two of them, both for 30 quid a pop. I know it's only 30 quid a pop, and for each tire it's only 60 quid, but the tires cost me 120 quid, so that's basically, I got two tires basically for 30 quid again, because it's brand new and I got money back, which I'm quite happy with. They looked at the tires, they said, they said they look um, almost new, so they this because I'd got the best part one I could get, um, and they said, "Okay, cool. Um, thank you for coming to us because we need to make sure the supplier is notified of dodgy tyres. If I if they if they're an ass, I could tell everybody don't go to them, and because the shit. But they were really nice. They get the, the the people there are always nice, so it's just good to know that." You know, safety is of because he probably won't give a shit. To be fair, in, re re in reality, he has to be all customer service and all that rubbish. He probably won't actually care um, about it. He'll probably be more annoyed that he's giving me this. I did say I will be going back, but only for brand new tyres in the future, because for the sake of a twenty quid or whatever, or fifteen quid for my wife's car, it's not really worth going cheap. Just go full, go proper, because then you know that it's brand new. It's never been touched. It'll pass the. Uh, the uh, MLT and it'll stop hitting all the work to the efficiency they're supposed to and to the quality they're meant to be. I've taken, I've been using part one for quite a few years now and this has taught me quite a lot of lessons that it's cost me more but what happens if it does blow out like my wives did it's not worth it at all so uh, yeah uh, um, a lesson to people and good advice that don't go cheap on your safety um, you are driving on motorways in, and with fluctuating temperatures and road surfaces there's no point in trying to save money just so you can get a good deal or get a few pints in the pub or get a meal at, at somewhere or save a few pennies just fuck, just bloody spend the money and your safety is most if, you, if it blows out you're fucked and you've got more issues with your car or you're dead so is it really worth dying for the sake of under 100 quid? Not really. So there you go. What can I say? Don't go cheap on your safety of your car. To make sure what you do is safe. Some people do cut corners. Well, there's cutting corners and there's, cutting, there's, and then there's safety. Come on, cat. Move, I'm reversing. Oh yeah, just take your time. Got a bloody cat on the road. I don't want to reverse over it. I'm going to just reverse and make it move. There you go. Good on you, lad. Um, so yeah, basically I do go cheap on some maintenance issues like my AC unit cost for specialists would have cost um, nearly two, nearly a grand and a half, two grand and I got it done for under a thousand by sourcing the parts myself um, and getting them fitted by a specialist though and some of the parts weren't even needed and I haven't really used the AC apart from when I first, when I first picked the car up because in England, it's all oh, it's basically effectively been raining for 18 months, near enough, on and off. Um, we've not really had much sun, much sunshine in the past 18 months, which has been really annoying. But it is what it is. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if it was helpful. If, let me know if you've had any issues with part one, ones before. Is it help? Is it have you done the same thing as me and decided to go f brand new from now on? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, just uh, stay safe, drive safe, look after your vehicle. Imagine if it blew out and you got all, all your family in, your kids in, your grandma, your grandpa, anyone that you find you, you love dearly, they're in the car and you get a blowout or whatever. It's not worth it. So thanks very much for watching and. Uh, See you all soon for hopefully another video. Uh, not about the car, but there's an ex we've had a new and exciting. I'm actually, I might do it a bit record it after this video actually. We had an exciting addition to the house renovation. You know, old house I'm renovating. We've got a new exciting addition to it, which my wife is very, very happy with. See you shortly. Bye bye.